So, with an air of due caution and uh, consideration, I welcome you all back to another edition of Is It Shit? with me, Sean Vincent, and Dan Peters. Uh, today we are looking at the... It's the TC Electronic Midas PEQ 3000. Mmm. Snappy title. And it... Yeah. I don't... Where did that, why have they come up with that? I'm not entirely sure. I mean, so this is based on a Midas EQ, the Heritage Desks. There was the 2000, the 3000. Maybe okay. that's where it's from. I yep. Don't, don't really know. Um, but this is a slightly different one to what we've been looking at recently. Okay. Um, let's let's get over the awkward stuff. It is a very big graphical representation, <laughs> and we know how much you like graphical representations. Yeah, they're not my favourite. No. But 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 mm. we're going somewhere with we're this. We're going aren't we? somewhere with this. It it comes with this. This thing is a little controller for this plugin. Yeah. This single USB cable into your system, and you have frequency, you have gain, you have width, you have two little arrows to skip through the frequency bands. Uh, it's you can turn the bands on and off with a with an actual physical button, and that little thing, although it shows up as mm. a plug-in on your screen and it's scalable, you can have it as big as you like on your screen. You also get a mini version of it on here the whole time. That's and, Cool when, as fuck, isn't it? It's cool as fuck, and when you flip between different channels you've got it on, it changes on here. Yes. And you can grab real knobs and actually EQ. <laughs> you don't have to look at it. Yeah, okay, we've so, uh, we just hit a new realm of... Uh, yeah, and there's a whole bunch of other interesting stuff. So I think you can have up to 12 bands, which okay. is insane. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, it, it appears to emulate the sound of the Midas live desks. And mm. you know, as you know, I've spent a long time over the years working in live gigs, mixing on Midas desks. I've got some Midas analog EQ set over there and some compression. I love the sound of their stuff. It kind of got missed by studio engineers. It's it's like very well respected in the live world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't really see their stuff in studios really. No. Like, but it sounds epic. It sounds really good. We know live engineers that still use analog uh, Midas consoles. Yeah, 100%. John Byrne. Yeah, yeah, I'm never scared to see a Midas console. Yeah, yeah. It's just, I, you know, I've got, got to be honest, they're digital <laughs> consoles. I am a bit scared to see those, but oh, yeah. yeah, I just don't like them. But I think they, they sound amazing. They, their stuff has always sounded great. And this sounds great. It's so well featured. You can flip it into mid side mode. You can work in mono. You can work the left or the right or stereo. It emulates the XL4. It emulates the heritage stuff. And it's, it's like a mastering quality EQ. Okay. Uh, but you can also use it on individual channels. It, I tried replacing the basic Logic EQ with it for a while, yep. and it's great for that mm -hmm. because you've got this little controller. It's yeah, really yeah. quick to zip through and set things up because you're just grabbing the knobs and turning them. Really useful. Gotta love grabbing a knob. Gotta love grabbing a knob, Dan. Yeah. Dirty bastard! <laughs> and there's there's one other thing which pushes it into a you know a higher state for me. Go on. It's like 80 quid. <laughs> with, with this. No way. Yeah, with this. You know, and I know this is weird, and a lot of people look at it and go, well, that's just a gimmick. Just just get that in your workflow. For 80 quid? For 80 quid, and if you don't like it, sell it. It's a piece of hardware too, therefore it has a bit of resale, which that's, software generally doesn't. It's a night out, isn't it? There you go. Stay in. Stay in and buy the Midas PP... PEQ 3000. PEQ 3000. Yeah. And you know, I've got to say, it does sound good. It sounds good. You can do that. So when you have to get a bit surgical with EQ, this is where I would go these days. What? Well, it's got 12 buttons, so you don't get much more surgical with EQ than no, that, do you? No, but it will do nice, wide, gentle stuff as well. But, okay. You know, it's 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 a beautiful bit of kit, I think. Wonderful stuff. Well, sometimes we uh, review these plugins, and they're, uh, we should mention it's a TC Electronic uh, plugin. It is TC Electronic, yeah, which you know, obviously they've done something with Midas. And obviously, well, are they both? Are they both um... There's a bit of an elephant in the room. Here. So, yeah, TC Electronic and Midas were bought by, by was it Music Group? Music Group, who also own Behringer. Yeah, and, and you know, I fucking love Behringer stuff. Do you know what? X32, great desk. Yeah, it's very. I own an X32, Sean. Yeah, I know. I've got I've got some of their stuff, and it's it's. Do you know what? If you've if you've got an issue with people making what people consider to be copies of other mm. companies' equipment and knocking it out cheap, then fair dues. Yeah. Yeah, they do do a lot of that. But Don't, then so do lots of other companies. Yeah, it's, you know, yeah. how many 1176s are there? How many LA2As are there? It's yeah. just, it's what people do because it's what people want. Mm. Whether you buy they, into that or not. They make cool it. stuff and it's affordable. Yeah. So, I, I like I was about to say, we we review plugins like this and, and I, it, it feels odd asking you the question because we both know what the response to this is going to be. Um, mm. Is this shit? 
No, it's good. It's really good, isn't it's it? It's really good. It's... You know, the hardware controller for me is just like such a good idea. What a great idea. Again, I'm sold. This is one of the ones I will go and buy. Um, so uh, go and get the TC Electronic Midas PEQ 3000. And whilst you're doing that, or just before you do that, subscribe to this channel so that when we do these videos, you know that they're coming out and you can see what, what's coming up next. And also it means we can keep making them, which is good for us and maybe you. It might be good for us. It might be good for us. Not really, is it? It's just a lot of work. Yeah. Well, I have to pay to get it. Yeah. So. I have to pay to feed you while you're here. Oh, well, that's true. Yeah. I'm not, well, I'm not that expensive. It's, it's more the... <laughs> it is more that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, talking of which, you know. Right, Let's, see ya. Bye.